Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Tech Hot Hardware here, and I'm here with Joe from Intel, and he's got a live demo of Lunar Lake versus Meteor Lake, and it looks like a video decode playback performance, right? Hi, Dave, that's exactly right. We're doing YouTube 4K AV1 here. We have a Meteor Lake OAM system here on the right-hand side, and a pre-production Lunar Lake system here on the left. These are live power ratings that you're seeing here from this little meter here on the side that's plugged into the charging port. So we're showing that to you live. Uh, one of the big improvements from Meteor Lake to Lunar Lake is we had two low power E4s Crestmont on the Meteor Lake. That has been expanded to four of the new SkyMont architecture on Lunar Lake. There's also additional L2 cache, so a lot more workloads now have the opportunity to be contained on that low power island for that increased power efficiency. Nice, so this is live uh, AV1. Uh, it's 4K. It's 4K video, okay, playback. And as you can see, the, uh, the the live power ratings there on the left. Lunar Lake kind of tracks almost 50% at times, but it's up and down. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, it's okay. very representative to how a user would normally. These are connected to the internet. That's why you're seeing those little bounces sure. uh, happen. The one thing we did do is we turned off the panels since they're not exactly the same, just to be completely fair there on the computer. Right, but the output's up on the big screen. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, thank you, dude. Here's Meteor Lake. This one is literally, this is using our systolic array. So it's going to be doing that ch 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 very power efficient. This is still using an AI acceleration instruction, DP4A, but it's no systolic, so it's going to write back to the register file. But it is doing int 8, and it is doing a multiply accumulate, but only one at a time. Right? And so think of it as accelerated, but not like this guy. So let's give it a shot. What's the prompt? The prompt is older Intel engineer wearing a blue hat with a blue jacket. He is making a funny face with his mouth open, excited for new technology. Perfect. <laughs> so. What could go wrong? I would say go. So if you don't know what's happening here, stable diffusion is another one of those transformer models I explained yesterday. And it does a lot of systolic operations. It also does some soft max and some linear stuff. It's a pretty good proxy for AI performance. Uh, initially, we go through this text encoder, then the UNet, then a VAE decoder or tokenizer. Then we're running that diffusion pipeline, subtracting noise and resulting in a context-aware semantic image. And we're done on the left here. It took us 6.3 seconds. And on the right, on Meteor Lake, we're still cranking. I think it's going to be 13.2 seconds. Okay, so what we're talking about is Meteor Lake's basically brand new. But we have effectively doubled performance. <laughs> now, I don't know why it's doing this, because I don't have a mustache. Uh, but you can see we're all excited about Lunar Lake. And that guy is way too old. I don't know what's going on there. Take these down. <laughs> Take these down. OK, let's see the slides again. All right, so right here, you're seeing Meteor Lake taking 26, 27 watts to do the uh, BBC decoding. And that's because it's software. And over here, you can see hardware works. Hardware acceleration is a good thing. And so we're at two watts while we're de decoding a 4K screen. Ian, please, what's on your mind? So it's 4K, is that so 60 FPS or what's the bit uh, No, it's not 60, what do we think this is? 24. 24, 4K 24. This was actually captured up in our um, Hillsborough Foundry, which is uh, Hillsborough Fab, which is where we do a lot of research. So if you look at this picture, you can see some of that blue stuff. Ian, have you been there? Many times. Many times, this is old news. I'm excited because I've, I've never been inside this particular foundry. And uh, the bunny, bunny is quite proud. What we actually show behind him is an EUV machine de delivered by ASML. And it's got a blue laser that evaporates. I keep saying aluminum, but it's tin. It's tin. It's tin. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't have to say an EUV machine by ASML. I don't? No, because it's only ASML. Oh, it's only ASML, yes, exactly. All right, well, thank you very much. I think that's a very cool. Thanks for the video. Means is that Lunar Lake hardware using the XE2 architecture is highly compatible. Like with little effort, we're picking up F124, which is brand new effectively today. So should we come back to the screen? Yeah. All right, let's come back to the screen and see what it does. All right, let me tell you what you're looking at. Let's lower this down a little bit. First of all, it's using ray tracing for ray trace shadows. It's using XESS for upsampling, and we're creating beautiful imagery. It's also running higher than 60 FPS. So you're looking at 1080p, higher than 60, XCSS, ray trace shadows, all on Lunar Lake. And it's launching today. So the point you should take away is that our driver and our hardware are ready for games. And this is just the first example. EA is our partner on this, and I think it looks great. Did I miss anything?
Nope, they can see it upstairs as well running live. Excellent, so it's live upstairs, and it's a great example. You'll see lots of games very soon on there. All right, thank you very much. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware and Hot Tech, and I'm here with Nick from Intel, and he's got what looks like a little Intel Lunar Lake dev kit right here, bud. That is our new AI PC dev kit. It okay. sure is. Okay, and uh, we have a demo going on in the screen here. What are we looking at? We're looking at DaVinci Resolve. Okay. So we're going to be playing with their face refinement effects. So the first thing that we're going to want to do, we want to go in and identify where the face is in the frame. Okay. So we're going to be using our XMX enabled uh, AI accelerator, which is part of our XE2 graphics yep. uh, inside of our Lunar Lake product. Okay. So now that DaVinci Resolve has determined that there's a face, what we need to do is we need to build that mask, identify where the eyes, nose, and mouth are, so that we can leverage their feature uh, to make some changes in the individual in the frame. Ah. So now I click this little button, and now what it's doing is it's walking through it frame by frame, creating those masks for us. So here we got a 10 second clip, 60 frames per second. Yep. It's doing all of the work for us. It's going through, it's tracking that face inside of that video. It's building that mask. Once it completes, then we're going to be able to start doing the fun stuff. We're going to get in there, we're going to be able to change lighting, contrast, targeted specifically at the face so that we're not, you know. Affecting the rest of the scene. You got it. Yeah. Oh, cool. So this is DaVinci Resolve. All right. Now this is just rendering now. Are you going to, so you have to wait till it renders and then you can start doing the, uh, the editing side. Well, of it. Exactly. Because it's going through each frame and building that now. Gotcha. Is what it's doing right gotcha. Now. And that's running on the um, the Matrix Array, the XMX engine? You got it. Okay. XC2 Matrix Extensions. Yep. Uh, which is enabled as part of our XC2 graphics. All right, so we have them all masked off now uh, through every frame. And show us what we can do. Awesome. So he's a little underexposed. He's a bit dark. We want to brighten up that face. So here, I'm just going to adjust the right side first, bring in some of that color. And then now you'll see it's much brighter. But what's great is it's done it throughout the entire clip that we had masked. So you can see it's brightened it up. It's done it just in that area that we wanted, and we're all complete. Nice. That's good stuff. That's great for hacks like me that don't know how to set up proper lighting in a video. <laughs> good stuff. So that's Lunar Lake Live. Thanks, Nick. Anytime, Dave.